Climate sensitivity is the key thing we need to know when we want to know how much global warming we are causing. Climate sensitivity measures how much warming you get for a given amount of carbon dioxide increase in the atmosphere and usually it's given for a doubling of carbon dioxide. It was first calculated in the late 19th century by the Swedish Nobel laureate Svante Arrhenius who concluded that a doubling of CO2 in the atmosphere would raise global temperatures by between 4 and 6 degrees. Uh, today we know the correct number is around about 3 degrees with an uncertainty between 2 and 4 degrees. And that is the response that we get after waiting for a few decades until the oceans have caught up with the warming. So at any given time the observed warming is lagging a bit behind of what you would expect from that climate sensitivity value. Climate sensitivity is, um, simply put, a measure of how sensitive the climate system is to some perturbation. Uh, and that perturbation could be a natural perturbation due to uh, volcanic eruptions that tend to cool the planet or changes in solar output that can tend to warm and cool the planet. Um, but in the context of climate change, uh, we specifically define climate sensitivity in most situations as how much warming the globe undergoes in response to a doubling of the concentration of carbon, di carbon dioxide concentrations. So pre-industrial levels uh, of uh, carbon dioxide were about 280 parts per million, 280 uh, molecules of CO2 per million molecules of air. Um, once we double those concentrations to 550, 560 parts per million, uh, where we will be in a matter of decades if we continue with business as usual burning of fossil fuels, uh, we'd like to know how much warming will that lead to? And that amount of warming is what we call the equilibrium climate sensitivity. Our best estimate is that it's somewhere in the range of three degrees Celsius. So if we double the concentration of CO2 in the atmosphere, Ultimately, when the climate fully stabilizes in response to that increase, it will have warmed by three degrees Celsius. Now, it's possible that the climate sensitivity is even higher than that, four degrees, five degrees. Maybe we're lucky and it's lower than that, as low as two degrees. There's some uncertainty because there is uncertainty in our understanding of some of the detailed processes that are involved. Uh, but the equilibrium climate sensitivity, or ECS as we sometimes call it, uh, is likely to be somewhere around three degrees Celsius and that implies some really substantial impacts if we continue with business as usual burning of fossil fuels.